In this video, we're going to form a four-way ratio. So let's read the question. A, B, C and D are integers with no common factors. We're told that 7A is equal to 2B. The ratio of C to D is 5 to 2. The ratio of A to D is 1 to 5. And we want to find the ratio of A to B to C to D. Now, firstly, we can convert this equation into a ratio. And we saw how to do that in previous videos. But if 7A is equal to 2B, the ratio of a to b is, and we can actually just swap the numbers in front of the a and the b, the coefficients of a and b. So if you swap the 7 and the 2, you get 2 to 7, like that. Why does that work? Well, let's say the a was equal to 2 and the b was equal to 7. Can you see that 7 times 2 is 14 and 2 times 7 is 14? So they would be equal. And therefore, if a was 2 and b was 7, the ratio would be 2 to 7. We could have also made a fourth example and b14, and it would still work. But they would still simplify to a ratio of 2 to 7. So just swap the numbers. That's the easy way of doing it. Now, if we want to combine this ratio, this ratio, and this ratio, we should draw a little table. So we want to find the ratio of a to b to c to d. We worked out the ratio of a to b is 2 to 7. We also have the ratio of c to d is 5 to 2. And we also have that the ratio of A to D is 1 to 5, like that. Now, to combine them together, we need these numbers to be the same. So let's suppose we wanted to combine the 2 to 7 and the 1 to 5 together in one ratio. Can you see the common number is the A, and we've got the 1 part here and the 2 parts here. So if you just multiplied this and this by 2, because whatever you do to one part of the ratio, you have to do the same to the other, you can see you're going to get 2 to 10. But now, because these twos are the same, we can just write the 7 in this gap here. So we've got the ratio of A to B to D is 2 to 7 to 10, like that. And now we want to combine this row here with this row here. Can you see we have the D in common? You've got the 2 and the 10 here. Now, this 2, if you multiplied it by 5, you would make it equal to 10. So if you multiply this by 5, and you also multiply this by 5, that's going to give us 25 to 10. And now because these two tens are the same, we can just combine these two ratios together. So it's going to be 2 to 7 to 25 to 10. And we are done. And this ratio doesn't simplify any further because there's no common factor between all four of these numbers.